My best friend wanted to be a cop, and obviously, as an anarchist, I'm not particularly keen on it. He knows I don't like cops, but we've never had a proper discussion on why before, partly because I feel I'm very bad at arguing and don't want to sabotage my own cause, if that makes sense. Sometimes I think I can be alright, especially if one of my more left-leaning friends takes my side, but when it comes to the police or anarchism, I'm always on my own, and I tend to get all hot and flustered and emotional and don't make very good points. So people use arguments which, if I read online, I wouldn't think they were very strong, but face-to-face -face they often stump me. Any tips other than just reading more theory? Basically what I'm asking is, how do I not feel like a whiny, naive teenager when I'm talking about anarchism? And on a semi-related note, any advice for a guy who wants to get into the anarchist scene but struggles with social anxiety, especially when it comes to meeting strangers? We've answered our second part before. Yes. So, not that. But so, the cop stuff. So many feels. Mm. Um, so, you know how I said I, w I would shag a Tory and all of that stuff? Like, a cop though? No. Never. No. Never. Because there's something very... Inst that's the pr thing. It's like, you can have your opinions or you can have like a side hustle. You know, obviously, those are, can be issues, all of that by themselves. But something about becoming part of the, whatever, that's Metropolitan Police or, you know, the different police services, some, not services, forces, elsewhere, it institutionalizes you yeah. to the point that it's very, very difficult to go back from. And there, there's about, I don't know, there's years and years of training where they really, really break you and, and, and put you to a particular type of a of a human being that is not necessarily critically thinking you know so i think that is becoming like you do become a type of a person and yeah you can just like avoid that at all costs yeah i mean i do think there is nuance because like for example a cop in pens i can't remember saying this but a cop in like my hometown where your job is basically just to like rescue kids from trees it's a different thing from metropolitan police having said that you can go into the police institution with the best intentions to be the nice man saving um kittens from trees and you will end up a part of a machine that systematically represses poor people, people of colour, people protesting for a better life, all of the things that you supposedly want to support. Full disclosure, when I was 15 I wanted to be a cop because I wanted to save people, I wanted to help people and I thought, oh you know, that's what cops do. And since then I've learned that is not what cops do. Some cops think that's what they're doing, they really do and I do not believe that every single cop goes into it with bad intentions. I think that's a naive thing. The point that Mariam is making is that whatever your intentions, you are put through a series of trainings, a process that will dehumanize the people that you are supposedly, yeah, that you're meant to, I don't know, fight against, you're meant to arrest. Like, you are not allowed to have a personal opinion. You're not allowed to have a hot take. You're not allowed to say, but hang on a second, in this circumstance, should we really? No, you are there to enforce laws that are racist, homophobic, sexist, like abusive, classist, hostile, classist, yeah. all of those things. The thing is, is that it's closer to military than it is to like civil service. Yeah. So many people say, you know, I want to change it from the inside. Uh, police is not an institution that changes from the inside. If it changes from above, it changes from changing governments. Governments can enforce certain style of policing, you know, whether that's more hands on or hands off. Um, so yeah, perhaps your friend would be interested more than in going into politics if that, you know, that is also us being two anarchos also understand that that's, there's an invitation to that as well. You know what, for me, like, the, the obvious answer here kind of is, is like, why call? Why not the yeah. sex that is a firefighter? Yeah, 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 fire oh my god! If you want, we were talking about this the other day, if oh. you want to help people do sexy <sighs> stuff, feel macho, be in a union, support the working class. Be in a uniform. Be in a uniform. There is nothing hotter than a firefighter. firefighter. Damn son! Damn son! Seriously, you know, so many. The, we were kind of thinking about yeah. this of as just like some people go, like, oh, how can I be more attractive to ladies or like what do you do? It's just like honestly, just oh become God, yeah. a firefighter, even when they're not that cute. Yeah. They're still fucking cute. Yeah, they're still cute. Like there is probably not a firefighter I wouldn't bang. Hundred percent. Like, well, Michael from Love Island. What's the bad boy. Was he a firefighter? Oh, he was a little shirt. But okay, apart from Michael. Shirt. But then again, like he's hot as fuck. So yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, that's a really good point. If your if your friend's idea is that he wants to like help people and save people, he could do that. He could be a paramedic. He could yes. do any of the other like really important. Be a coast guard. Be a, be a lifeguard. Any of these really cool like nine 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 numbers that are actually helping people. Yeah. And if that's not the reason he wants to be a cop, if it's not because he wants to help people, you need to make him sit down and explain exactly why he wants to be a cop. Yes, because he's probably looking at what the police is doing now and being like, I more relate to this, which means that it's not just this just like innocent desire to to help as such. It's to be part of that particular class and that has its own implications with it. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, I don't know. Work- I, yeah, they're against the working class. They're against protest movements. Every single right that I don't know what country you're in, every single right that has been won has been in won through struggle against the police at the time who were enforcing the status quo at the time. Yeah, there is one of this. Yeah. Oh, one of the kind of still fussing when I just think about it. So, uh, but my exes, you will definitely know who that is as such. As you know, he would get into conversations with the police as such, and we kind of got this really fascinating. Uh, insight into their thinking in this one particular exchange um, where again it was like a, I think it was a, I want to say it was anti-raids protests, something, definitely something to do with, with race issues in, 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 in London and we were there protesting it as such and, and again my ex got into conversation and the cop was like you know what you know how you think we're racist and that but you're like you're the same way against the police you know you just think you, know, you judge us all. You know, you think we're the same with this particular way. And my partner at the time was like, literally like, a uniform is not a race. For fuck's sake. Yeah. And it's just like, what is that? And I was like, oh, God, I find you hot. Yeah. Like, but it's, that's how they think. Yeah. That's how they think. Well, that's why like, Blue Lives Matter has actually taken off in some states in the US as a concept. They which literally is think like, yeah, wearing a uniform is the same as having yeah, rights. Like, that's absolutely because of the job that I chose. <laughs> I mean, Okay, so actually, I don't know if you're from the US, but I've noticed this really interesting phenomenon in the last few months. In, um, I'm, in a, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups, and a lot of them are dominated by US people, where there's this been very like rejuvenated interest in the concept of a cab, and the way in which Americans are using it in this forum are like, I'm a cab, and then people being like, Oh God, you're a cab. I think a cab is like an allegiance, like Antifa or something, and so people have made groups called like a cab this, and other people have made groups saying like, Oh, here they go, bringing in a cab again. Or like a cab, a cab, and it's like I'm sorry, a cab just means all cops are bastards, and has been around as a slogan in Europe for like 50 years. And so I'm very, I'm interested whether like the the I don't know if you're in the US, but if you're like falling into this weird dichotomy where he's therefore feeling like uh like attacked because by the the a cab crew because it's become it's become this very weird weird online battle between the a cabbers who are super obnoxious to be honest, even though they hate the cops, and the anti a cabbers. But it's still like, the right opinion and the wrong opinion. Yeah, though. but it's just become weird. It's about like you know the way how Americans have managed to bastardize like Antifa into like the idea of a group, rather than just have like uh, yeah on the internet. Yeah. Really? Oh, and, I don't know. I, I I'm still shocked that anyone would think it's a group because there are of course affinity groups, but it's still yeah. not an organization. As no, I know, it? but it's just like that, and it's happened with a cab for some reason. Now you're either an a cab or not an a cab, and it's very. But that's weird. okay, no. Like I I'd say we are a cab, and people that we trust are a cab, and anyone who isn't is like not okay. I just find it weird that a cab has become like, like a noun, I guess, rather than like a concept. Like I'm not a cab. I I believe that all cops are bastards, but I am not like. But but you are. We are. But I just don't. And we're anti fa. Yeah. Well. But and we're anarchists and feminists. But the point is, those are like um, what's trying to make? They're like interests or political beliefs attached to my person, not like my identity. Is it not your identity? I feel like it's part of my identity. though. I don't think so. Not I have in the like way fundamental that, distrust. I don't know. It's hard to explain to you because it's just like something I see Same on the like internet. Same like anti-racist, you know. No, I, that that, I don't disagree with you on that. I think I'm just explaining it badly the way in which it's manifesting on the internet. No, I think what you're trying to say is what I fully agree with, and it's sad because the majority of our uh, viewership is now American. I, c- I could not organize with Americans. Like I'm just mm. putting it out there. Like, I, and I do every now and then still to this day, but it's just like something about American left that yeah. I just can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> And it just makes everything into these very, like, instead of having an argument about, like, why we're against the police, which is what we're doing right now, it becomes, I'm a cab or you're not a cab, and therefore they just throw this word a cab around rather than actually getting they... into what the argument is. I mean, again, our friends' stories from, yeah, from the American left. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I, so I think what you're describing, the limitations of, of the, of the, um, I don't know, um, yeah. It's like they turn into a brand, if you like. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Rather than a political force that actually has some meaning behind it that comes from, like, a history of, like, the other thing I wanted to mention actually is that like most people who are ACAB are ACAB because they have either themselves or seen people very very close to them not only news stories but actually people they know closely be treated like shit by the cops if that's sexual abuse physical abuse like harassment threat like we're not just ACAB people we know and love have had horrific experiences with the police not to mention the national news stories like Mark Duggan um well, sure, all no, the people in the US I mean, like, like the, the, the broader was the broader um, 
law system and law enforcement is not there to punish people with class interests. Yeah. It is there to punish people that are protesting in any shape or form against the ruling class. You know, that's literally what it is. Police force and the and the state uh, created police force is not there to protect the neighborhoods because we had people protecting neighborhoods uh, and, and like villages for as long as they have existed. Yeah. This is not some sort of like community support in any shape or form because that comes from a community and 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 there is a certain amount of trust and and, and accountability to that this is not it this is a very pol police is a very new idea really uh, that comes from around Victorian times and such where state had to have an apparatus to enforce upon uh, what has become uh, like different class identities you know so there's a rich it, it, Again, it's just, I, I think it's the biggest, the biggest failure of, of us as the left that we have allowed this idea um, for liberals to even think that police is there to protect the everyday person yes. because like up to so basically it's not it, it, it is not the result of the police that that happens to be it's 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 basically it happens what's the word despite of its uh, yeah. Existence, not in spite of it, or yeah. the other way around. Yeah, <laughs> Anyways, but mean. yeah, it's, it's a byproduct. It's not a the cause. byproduct, not the yeah. cause. Absolutely, it's just like it's a nice little add-on, perhaps to some people that police sense like tends to solve a little bit of the crime out there, and I don't know, be a, somewhat of a force that will perhaps protect, or, you know, detract someone from doing it. But that is a tiny reason for the existence of the police force historically and i think once one understands that that there is way less of an incentive to really become that hero because you see it more as as a more as an institution with its own goals rather than um individual people creating something that is meant to to, to challenge the current yeah. state of things yeah community defense has consistently been undermined and destroyed by the cops because they don't want that that is not what they're interested in no, and again, they're interested in more funding, you know, because they can, uh, I guess, provide certain proof of, 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 of solving a particular amount of crime, which a lot of the time is very little, and most of the time is not nothing to do with clashes with, you know, women yeah. or people of colour and, yeah. and that sort of stuff. You know? Like, I mean, in London, there's obviously a lot of debates at the moment about, like, the fact that the police force is cut and they want to re-expand the police force to combat knife crime, whereas they're simultaneously shutting down youth centres and shutting down, like, rehabilitation centres and shutting down, like, uh, it, like good like initiatives that are trying to get people out of gangs instead they, they are destroying the funding for those things that are actually doing concrete on the ground work or simultaneously saying we need more cops because of knife violence they are not interested in solving crime they are not interested in stopping crime they are interested in protecting the class interests of the middle and upper classes absolutely again the same conversation goes about the, the industrial um prison complex yes. right so incarceration complex is that and uh, the people that come out from prisons have very little funding towards really uh, establishing themselves as members of the community in any shape or form and have to a lot of the time then go back to crime and so it's it's a, it's a loop it's a circle yeah. and they're not interested in making no what the world safer or people's no. lives better no and i think yeah precisely I mean, if there is a way for you to i guess your question was in a very nice way, you're being like, "Hey, how can I explain that to my pal in non-condescending, you know, in a manner that is non-condescending?" Mm -hmm. And I think we definitely sounded condescending here, but it's just because we have seen way too many of our loved ones like beat up by these people and like destroyed by these people and incarcerated by these people. So we just have a natural hatred. Um, and it isn't just the idea of like, "Oh, there's a few bad apples. They are trained to be like this. There might be a few good apples that escape the training. No doubt, I'm sure, maybe, but." No, it's institutional. Yeah. It's really unlikely that your friend is going to be able to be one of the good apples. And if you are a cop and you try and stand up against the other cops, you're treated like shit as well. Oh, like yes. the pe the cops who try to actually speak out about it. They... Yeah, and you should look into percentages of, yeah. of the police that are supporting, you know, far right groups and stuff yes. like that. There's so much. Okay, I mean, what's happening in Hong Kong now? Is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. And it's and it's and it's universal. It's yeah. just universal, and it's because it's fundamental. It's yeah, it's fundamental um, reason for existing is yeah, it's providing it is 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 continuing the 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 safety of the class interests of the upper class. And yeah. that's all. Anyways, so hopefully you can explain a little. I guess that we told you here in a non-condescending manner yeah. to your friend. Yeah, we'll show show him the video. Yeah.
Oh, uh, yeah, we hit the cops. And I know it's very flippant and easy to say that, but I think we've explained why. Yeah. Again, plenty of text around us. We're, yeah. you know, we're saying sure it in a very sort of basic girl but... way. Yeah, yeah. But um, um, again, just I don't know why. Yeah, as I always say, why not a firefighter? Yeah, why not a firefighter? Put that to them. Make them explain why cops yeah. specifically is what they want to do. Make them watch Line of Duty. Make them watch Training Day. Make them watch all these movies and TV series about corrupt cops and show just how easy it is. Yeah. Don't watch Brooklyn Nine Nine. That fetishizes it. Thank you so much for asking us this. Like the, the the idea that people trust us enough, like and trust not only our like advice on whatever relationships or whatnot, but our actual political opinions. Yeah, that's, that's actually really nice. Fucking awesome. Yeah. That's really I and mean, we love all the racial questions too, but it's nice to have the chance to play the stuff that we don't normally say, which is like. Also, if you want more of our political rant- rantings, please follow us on Twitter at mm. Rowan Talks at Mariam did. Uh, yeah, we we I I, I overuse Twitter. Way <laughs> the way too. that you just said that, Rowan Talks, Mariam did. It makes it sound like I talk. You used to. I thought about this one time that we have this thing going on Talks and did. Yeah. That, like, <laughs> Mariam Talks. Ro- uh, no, sorry, Rowan Talks. Mariam did, but she stopped because Rowan talks too much. <laughs> I think was it was a hero. I was saying like if I were ever gonna marry someone, I would have a double surname with like Mariam did X. <laughs> That's great.